Hey everyone, it's Brandy and welcome back to my channel, Brandy Janae's Bookshelf, or welcome if this is your first time. Today I decided to try out a new type of video. I'm going to do a manga first impressions video. I have seen this around a little bit but for whatever reason I've never tried to do one myself. So today I'm going to be talking about My Love Story Volume 1 by Kitsune Karahara. So in this story we're following this guy named Takeo and he is pretty much the unconventional male lead of a manga series. Looking at the cover, you'll probably think it is about the blonde guy, but we're actually following the big burly guy that's in the bag. At the start of the story, they are leaving middle school and they're going into high school. And Takeo, to put it simply, is unlucky in love. Pretty much every girl that he has liked throughout the years, he's found out that they like his childhood best friend, Sunakawa. At the start of the story we pretty much follow him as that same situation is happening to him as he's about to leave middle school. He wants to go confess to this girl who he has liked for I don't know how long and he stumbles upon this girl confessing to his best friend. He gets a little upset that everyone that he likes seems to like his best friend but he doesn't hate his friend or anything for those reasons. He's just like okay well maybe it's just not meant for me and he just goes on about it um i think he gets more upset when the girls get upset after his friend tells them that he doesn't like them at all and we follow them as they're on their way home and he ends up stopping where his friend mentions like hey there's this guy over there that looks suspicious and it turns out that he was kind of groping this girl on the train and he goes and stops this guy and he ends up meeting this girl. In the change of events this girl ends up having a crush on him even though he doesn't realize it at first he thinks that the girl is actually in love or like has a crush on his best friend and we kind of follow the three of them kind of as the shenanigans between them unfold. So as far as the characters, like I said, we're starting off mainly following Takeo and his best his childhood best friend, Sunakawa. Um they I think met in pre K or kindergarten. They met really young because their mothers they're like they live next to each other and their mothers were friends so they would always play with each other and that friendship has lasted up until the current day in the book and then we also get introduced to Yamato I think is the girl's name which is the girl that they kind of or that Takeo ends up helping out or saving on the train and then we also get a brief introduction to Sonakawa's older sister who comes in towards the end of this volume. I appreciate the friendship between Takeo and Sunakawa. Uh, like I said, they've known each other for a really long time, almost their entire lives, and despite having different interests, they still get along pretty well. They're there for each other no matter what, and we find out that Sunakawa actually is looking out for Takeo even in circumstances that we wouldn't think he was which I really appreciate and Yamato is the love interest that we pretty much following. She is really into sweets and she's kind of unexpected from like how we first pre how she's first presented and I really appreciated that as well because it's nice to have somebody who's kind of girly but also is into other things as well. It was definitely, I feel like this was different from some of the other shoujos that I have read and I really, really like that. Yeah, I gave this one four out of five stars. It was really funny. That was another thing that I didn't really talk about, I, which I can't really say too much about without spoiling anything. But 
I was really invested in the story and then there are even parts where I was laughing out loud which <laughs> I don't do too often when reading things but there were some funny moments and it was interesting just seeing how everything played out because Takeo is really dense you know he's never had any experience with being in relationships or you know having someone have feelings for him and it was just nice seeing how everything played out now i'm gonna kind of talk a little bit of spoilers just because i can't talk about certain things without you know giving examples of what's going on i mentioned briefly that we got to see a bit of sonokawa's older sister and it was a bit weird <laughs> because we find out almost right away after we see her that she has had feelings for Takeo for the longest. However, I think she's three years older than him and she didn't want anything to be weird because of the age difference. And so she just never acted on those feelings at all. And she's kind of upset because now he has a girlfriend and she's just like, well, I wasn't expecting that. I was kind of waiting for him to get a certain age before I pursued anything with him. That's interesting and I'm wondering if that's going to have any play in the future. I appreciate it though that it wasn't like she didn't try to break up his relationship with this girl just because she found out that he had a girlfriend and she wanted to finally reveal her own feelings. So that was nice that that wasn't done. It was also cute the way uh, Yamato is really into baking. So pretty much every time we see her, she's bringing something new for Takeo to try. And like their relationship is just really cute and adorable. And seeing how things played out between them, even though it was just the first volume, I just overall really enjoyed this. And I'm really looking forward to continuing on with the series. I honestly want to just go out and buy all the <laughs> volumes in the series, but that's going to have to wait. Hopefully the library has most, if not all of them, so I can at least read them until I can afford to be able to get, you know, the series for myself so I can own them. But I can see this being a new favorite series of mine, so I'm glad I finally checked this one out. If this seems like your type of story, I would suggest you guys go check it out because, yes, it, it's a good one. I can tell that this is going to be one of those ones that I recommend to a lot of people in the future. <laughs> I don't think I really have anything else to say about this because, like I said, I've only read the first volume. If you've read this book or series, let me know what you thought about it and does it continue to have the same vibe that it has in this first volume? If not, would you be interested in picking this up? That's all I have for you in this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in the next one. Bye!